All right. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? How are we doing? Welcome back. We took last week off of Harp Stream and we're back today. And I've already forgotten that I need to post notification in Discord. So I'll, <laughs> I'll do that. Um, but yeah, we do have a Discord. If you're a Discord user or you just want to hang out with the community, it's a very nice place. Um, there we go. Okay, that's done. I hope you're all doing well. I, I took a week off and I was hoping that when I came back I'd be like well rested, I'd catch up on sleep, I would like, you know, come back like full of energy. That's not really what happened. <laughs> I think I mentioned a few weeks ago that um, I, I was having trouble sleeping. Um, and I ended up, ended up taking melatonin for a couple of weeks, which was really nice because it did, it did help me kind of fix the problem of like not falling asleep at night. I stopped taking it. I'm still able to fall asleep okay when it's bedtime, but I am having so much trouble sleeping through the night. So yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> it's so hard to focus. Um, sometimes this morning I was able to like I don't know, there's something about that time period of like 4.30 to like 5 a.m. 5 or maybe to 6 a.m. where it's just like if I'm awake, it's really hard for me to get back to sleep. After 6, I'm like, okay, I can go back to sleep, which is just annoying because my the way I like to have my schedule is getting up at 7. So that doesn't work. So then it's like, you know, today I went back to bed and I slept in until like 8.30, which was definitely the right call. 
but it just throws me off, you know. So that's that's kind of where I'm at. I've been also like I've I this week I'm I'm kind of like in business mode. I have to do a bunch of boring business stuff, which isn't the most fun. But sometimes that's just how it is. And uh yeah. <laughs> Combining that with like having a hard time focusing, it's like it's been a week. I'm glad to be here though. Um it's good to be back. So, yeah. <laughs> Blame daylight savings. I Yeah, I was having trouble sleeping since February, so I don't think I can fully blame it on that. But I don't think it helped either, for sure. But regular B12, okay. I have booked an appointment with my doctor, so maybe she can weigh in on that. I do, theoretically, I sh like the, well... I haven't had any blood tests in a while, but I, I, I did get tested for B12 a while ago. But uh, maybe I need to be tested again. I don't know. I'm kind of open to whatever, but I don't want to take supplements unless my doctor tells me that I should because I don't want to mess myself up in the wrong way as well. Um, but yeah. <sighs> so anyway, that's, that's kind of where I've been at. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely want to say hi to everyone that's here already. Sega Old School, good to see you. Neri, welcome back, Viola Buddy, Bob, PJ, thanks so much for six months. Um, really appreciate that. Enjoy your red harp badge. Annie's on the purple badge, good to see you, Annie. Brandroid, welcome back. Um, Ellen's here, Abraham's here. Lo uh, left Love Win is here, or Let Love Win, sorry, that's that's the name, but yeah, welcome everybody. It's good to, it's good to be here, you know, let's make some music, let's make some music. All right, let's do a little warm up with the Final Fantasy Prelude.
There we go. A little bit of Final Fantasy to start us off there. I do have a buzz right now. It's like... If I... strings are vibrating around here and I know why I've had this buzz before it's like the string knot underneath here um, I don't know why but it, it buzzes so in the past I've had like felt like a little felt kind of barrier between the string knot and the soundboard and I guess it came looser I don't know what so I have to fix that but I didn't get to it before today <laughs> That's okay. How did I figure that out? Um, I figured it out a long time ago. So the reason why I know it now is because it's been happening for years on this harp. And like, I think it was fine until I like changed a string and like forgot to put the fabric back or whatever. Um, but it was like, I was, I figured out which strings was making it vibrate. And then I put my hand inside and just like, like touched the like pressed on the string knot on the back and then when I did that it, the buzz stopped so that's your clue that it's like okay that's where it is that's like one of the things is like if you can figure out which string what are the pedal settings and then like touch different places on your harp <laughs> and if it makes the buzz stop then you have a clue as to where it is but that one at least I know I used to have a buzz like the screw on my little handle here on the back used to buzz in the winter um, when it's when it was drier. Um, last time I had a regulator out though she fixed that for me so it doesn't do that anymore. How old is this harp? I believe it was made in 1980? 80 or 82 I think so it's now like 42, 44 years old. So yeah. I believe it has had the column reset at some point before I bought it. So there's that. The number of hours spent playing a string and then touching something to see who's that. It, it took a little while, but... <laughs> Is it the cat? No. <laughs> you can maybe see little Bilbo looking out the window over there. Pixie, welcome back. Things are all right today. Things are all right. I've been sleep deprived and anxious, but I'm glad to be here. All right. Um, what to play? I want to play something pretty. Maybe let's do some near. Oh yeah, the, the, what do you call that? Sympathetic vibrations on the piano. Yeah, we always had, there, in my, in my parents' house, there was some sympathetic vibration that I never figured out what it was and it drove me nuts. All right, we're going to do Kind of Salvation today. It's been a while since I've played this. Here we go. Thank you. 
little bit of Nier Forest there. I haven't played that in a while, so there we go. Thank you, thank you. Tabletop Tales, good to see you, welcome. Okay, um, let's do, there's some Pokemon. I feel like I'm in the mood for that. Um, yeah, let's do Little Root Town today. about 13 minutes maybe not that specifically but typically how we do requests on stream is we take them a half an hour in so hello Bilbo it's so funny I've been saying this so at daylight savings time we we change the time that we feed the cats so that it theoretically feels the same to them but I I feel like they're kind of, at least Bilbo seems to be used to like our schedule, and since our schedule changed, he's like, I should be fed now, <laughs> not later. So we'll see. We'll see how he feels about that today. Brandra, do you remember that you never finished Alpha Sapphire? Well, I never played, you know what, okay, I played Emerald on an emulator, because I... I never played Gen 3 otherwise. But I... My favorite Pokemon game was X. I had Pokemon X. I really enjoyed it. I never... I had, I had Pokemon Moon, but I didn't finish it. Ah, Bilbo's phone automatically updated the time zone. I see. I should have turned off that setting. <laughs> should have turned off that setting. Um, okay, next... Let's do, um, let's do Rosalina in the observatory. I'm feeling it today. Hi, Bilbo. I know. Gotta wait a little while now, though. Am I excited for Pokemon Legends Z-A, which I find incredibly confusing? Like, what is with the title there? I don't know. I... I get, I'm not excited. I'm not, like, against it. I just... 
I don't know. It's funny because I really enjoyed Pokemon X, but I don't really remember very much about the setting or anything. Like, I like to play, so you know how there's, like, Wordle and, like, all those kind of daily games on the internet? There's one called Pokidoku, where it's, like, the three by three, and you have to, like, name a Pokemon that's, like, this type and that type, or, like, this type from this region, or, like, whatever. Um... And whenever there's one for Kalos, I forgot that Kalos was the name of Gen 6. <laughs> They're like, name a Pokemon that came from Gen 6. I'm like, I have no idea. I did play this game, but I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember, like, anything from that game. I just know I really liked the gameplay. Um, I obviously, like, the general Pokemon battles are kind of always the same, but I loved that you could buy so many outfits and change your hair. And, like, every time I came to a new town, I was like, where's the clothing store? And if a town did not have a clothing store, I was like, I've been betrayed. Um, I also loved the minigames. I loved the EV training in that game. It was, like, really fun. I just really enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, I feel like, be specifically because, like, the new, like, Pokemon Legends that's been announced takes place in Kalos, I'm just like, I don't know, could be cool. Um... I think if there's more, like, slice of life, like, type in interactions with the Pokemon, I might be excited about that, but I don't know. I just feel like their most recent games, obviously, had a lot of performance issues and things, so, uh, yeah, I'll be waiting to see what that kind of looks like. Hello, my boy. <laughs> Talking about Pokidoku? Yes. I don't know why so many people don't, don't like the Kalos games. Who doesn't like the Kalos games? They were so good. <laughs> I, I liked it a lot, obviously, but... But, yeah, we don't really know anything about Legends. I didn't play... Like, I... I so, I said I didn't finish Pokemon Moon. I didn't play Sword and Shield. I didn't play Legends Arceus. I didn't play uh, Scarlet Violet. Like, I think... I think at this point it'll take something a little bit different for me to come back to like the Pokemon like regular games if it's just literally exactly the same formula and like kind of boring gameplay or if it's like something new and it's like if it doesn't run well then I'm like I'm okay with not playing it to be honest so actually I did like Let's Go Eevee I did have fun with that I mean, Pokemon Red is just, like, a solid game, so. MJ Skyver, thank you so much for the five bucks. Welcome back, Lady Ballard. Hope your prior week away has been fairer than fair. Uh, not quite, but thank you for the sentiment. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Is this an awkward time to say I didn't love Kalos? I mean, it's fair. I feel like, you know, if you didn't like the mini games, then you probably wouldn't have liked that game. Mm. every Pokemon game up to Gen 6, and then you're like, this is just more of the same. I think that'd be very fair. I didn't really do that. I think I, I played most of Gen 1 um, before that. I played... I think I played Gen 3 on an emulator after that. I think I played uh, Diamond on my sister's game cartridge. I didn't quite finish it, but that was like a long time ago. Like, I think that was when I was in high school. And then I played Pokemon X when I was in university. So it was like many years in between. So I think that's totally fair. If you played every game leading up to that, it would make sense to be like, I'm kind of bored of this.
police on me. Oh, it was so long ago though. <laughs> Brandor says my never going to happen wish for a Pokemon game is a new Pokemon Stadium with lots of mini games. I spent hours as a kid playing the one and two mini games. I never played Pokemon Stadium. I feel like maybe I should try it on the like Nintendo Switch Online, um, like Nintendo emulator. I played Pokemon Puzzle League and like got like way too obsessed with that for a while <laughs> on there. Um, my Never Gonna Happen Pokemon Wish is a Pokemon Ring Fit game. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'll keep saying it. Yeah, it would be so fun, and I would love it. But I don't think that's happening, probably. I'm like, maybe, maybe one day, because, like, I don't know. Like, they have their, like, Pokemon Go and Pokemon Home and Pokemon Sleep. Like, they seem to be interested in, like, integrating Pokemon with, like, lifestyle and, like, health. I'll keep dreaming. <laughs> Squeeze the ring to cram Pikachu into the Pokeball. Oh my god. But like, you could have like, I'm a champ, like, training you, you know? MJ said, stopped at Gen 3 and has have only been a casual observer from a distance once in the blue moon. That's sort of like where I'm at at this point. Yeah, so we'll see with like the Pokemon Legends, we'll see what, what they do with it, but I'm not going to be first in line to buy that one. Also, Uki Peter, good to see you. A sequel to Detective Pikachu? Didn't they, didn't they do that? Or do you mean the movie? Because they definitely made a, a couple of games about it. That I didn't play. He's a hungry boy. <laughs> you want more movies? I was. It was a fun movie. I thought. Okay, I am ready to take requests. I think at this point. So if there's a song you would like to hear, um, if you're new or you haven't been here in a while, the way we do requests is you can type requests into the chat. Um, I'll try to get to as many as I can, but I can't always play every request for a variety of reasons. So thanks in advance for being cool about it. We appreciate it. Um, generally speaking, video game music and anime music, Celtic music, are kind of our favorites. Um, and I do need to be able to have some kind of sheet music uh, to read off of in order to play it. Um, so that has to, like, that has to exist somewhere <laughs> um, if I don't have it in my library already. <laughs> the Foggy Dew, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, my boy. Okay. La da dee la da 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 dee da fum.
Okay, so we have some Donkey Kong, Agatha's Castle. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, Lynn, good to see you. Welcome back. Okay, let me check to see if I already have that Snowbound Land one. I wouldn't be surprised because it, it may have come up in like a snow-themed... Uh, oh, I do have it. All right. So... Chill halftime feel. Let me see. All right, I don't know how this is supposed to sound, but we're gonna. swing but I don't know I feel like it's a nice vibe um okay all right oh my gosh so many good requests today okay let's do Agatha's Castle and do that before I forget thanks everyone all right let's do Agatha's Castle next see how I do with the pedals today nope that's a treble clef okay
thanks for that request. That's Agatha's castle from uh, Twilight Princess. I haven't played Twilight Princess in so long. I do have a copy for my Wii, but I don't know. I'm like, maybe I'll go back and play it. I probably won't. <laughs> I probably won't. Not anytime soon. I don't know. I mean, I'm still on my Stardew Valley uh, grind. I don't know. I'm not sure where I was going with that. Um, <laughs> but I'm on year two of my Stardew Valley, so... That's, that's got me covered for now. I'm like, I want to play Unicorn Overlord so bad, but I, I'm trying to wait for a sale. I feel like it's going to go on sale eventually, but it's apparently been doing really well and it's very popular, so I don't think it's going to be on sale soon. <laughs> so, too bad for me, I guess. All right. Um, okay, so... Uh, we started with the prelude um, from Final Fantasy today, so I think we'll we'll not do that one right now. The ending theme for Howl's Moving Castle. Yes, I know. I know, Bilbo. Do you like Howl's Moving Castle too? Okay. So this one's called Promise of the World. We'll do that one today. There it is. I know, I know. You're a hungry guy. All right, so we'll do some, some Ghibli next. All right. Okay, my octaves sound pretty good.
think it's like sometimes just like I get so nervous about it. I'm like, ooh, am I gonna do it? And then I don't. <laughs> Did myself too much psychic damage, but that's okay. That's such a nice piece. Thanks for the request. He's back. He's like, okay, she stopped playing music. It's time for me to <laughs> come beg for lunch some more. I know, I know. It's so hard to wait. Okay. Um, we can do S Cyrus the Scholar. Maybe we'll do one in between just because that's also a hard one. <laughs> uh, um, okay, what did we have? Did I not miss? Oh, that's the only one left. Okay, then I guess we'll do Cyrus next. So, yeah, also a hard one, but that's okay. We'll give it a go. Yeah, one of my goals with, so if you didn't know, first of all, I made an Octopath Traveler harp cover album a few years ago, and I'm working on an Octopath Traveler 2 harp cover album right now. And one of my goals with this album is to write stuff that isn't quite so ridiculously hard. <laughs> because so much of the stuff on the first album, it's, I think they're cool arrangements, but by golly, made my life a little hard after the fact, because then it's like, oh, I need to actually perform this at some point. And they're hard. <laughs> All right, so let's do Cyrus. Here we go. for Zora's Domain from, I'm assuming you mean Breath of the Wild? Zora's Domain. Let's see, oh gosh. Okay, Bilbo keeps, if you're hearing that noise, I have a sound panel. I've moved my sound panels to like this corner because I got a bass trap that now lives next to my bookshelf. And it's made of this like felt that's like so fun for the cast to scratch. And so, Bilbo's scratching it. I, I have a second one, and I bought, like, a sisal mat to, like, put on the area that they like to scratch. But I took that one, I moved it over 
to the window because it was so sunny this morning that I needed something. You can kind of see it actually, like a little bit, little black strip right here <laughs> to like kind of shade me from the sun a little bit. So now my unprotected sound panel is getting scratched, but that's how it goes. Okay. Um, I don't know that I, well, let me see what I can find for Zora's Domain from Breath of the Wild to Tear the Kingdom. Um, because I don't know that I'm going to make it, be able to make it, like, specifically. I can try. I can try. <laughs> I'll give it a go. Why not? Yes, I know, baby. I know. Okay, we're gonna give this a go. No guarantees. Um, I think we're gonna. Well, okay, we'll give it a go. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, Zara's domain from Breath of the Wild.
a journey. At the beginning, I was like, hey, this isn't so bad. <laughs> and then two key changes later, I'm like, that, you know, that, that meme of like the lady with like all the math symbols around her? That was me in this piece. Really pretty though, really nice on harp. Would probably be worth figuring out an actual harp arrangement at some point, maybe. No promises. <laughs> but. <sighs> yeah, so. Yeah, so to answer the question about why is that a problem, um, it's because, so, you know, on a keyboard, you get to have white, all the white and black keys in front of you. You get all the keys. You get out every note you could want. On the harp, we don't have that many strings for every single white and black key because then the harp would be too long and I wouldn't be able to reach all of them. So what we have is at the bottom of the harp, we can't see right now, are pedals that change the pitch of the string. So the, when I move a pedal, you can see maybe, what oh, would be a good one that's like easy to see? Maybe this like A. You can maybe see this disc moves and it shortens or it shortens the string when it when it turns. So, so the same string can have three different pitches depending on the setting of the pedals. So when all of a sudden they're like, here you go, a key change, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> but Oh let love win, thank you so much for the five dollars. Really appreciate that. Uh, you hit the sixth note well on the first run. Thank you. Yeah, that I like that. That was not bad. That little run of fifths and sixths, that was pretty good. But, <laughs> but no, it was fun. That was fun, though. Thank you for the request. It's like pressing a guitar fret to heighten the pitch with your feet. You know, you're not wrong about that. <laughs> Um, okay, so I think maybe we'll do one more, uh, one more request and we'll finish off with Lawn Lawn Ranch. I know we had it in the intro of the stream today, <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll do that, I think. Um, let's see. W9V35 says, I loved your take on my Quiet Forest home from Octopath Traveler. That's how I found your channel the other day. Well, thank you. Glad you found me. Um, yeah, I love that one too. That one's a harp duet, so it's a little tricky for me to play solo, but I don't know if I've tried to actually. Anyway, can pedals be pressed halfway for quarter tones? So not really because, um, when, if you only put the pedal halfway, well, I'll just let you hear. Because it's not firmly pressing it, you just get, it just, the string vibrates against the disc. Um, so you just get that sound. So, like, people like to kind of sometimes do that for, like, wow, so fun. <laughs> like, on the low strings, you can get a really loud noise if you do that. Um, so, yeah, if you want quarter tones, you have to tune them. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> not like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So we had a, a Final Fantasy IX request from MJ. I don't think we've done that one before. I'm just going to double check if I have it or not. Final Fantasy IX. It'll be IX. No, I don't think I've done that one. I'll look it up though. And then I think we'll do that and we'll do it and then we'll finish up. And then we'll get Bilbo his lunch. Oh my gosh. Because he's a hungry guy. Uh, oh, the lead sheets. We love to see it. Um, okay, cool. Let's give it a go. Just get that into my app. Do 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 do. Technology. I need like a elevator music for while I'm getting stuff on my iPad. <laughs> okay. Uh, Final Fantasy X. We will tag it so I can find it later. Okay. Cool. Um. So. <laughs> 
comfortably in A minor, it looks like. Okay. Now, I'm not familiar with this one, so once again, I'm sight reading. We'll see how we go. You called the place to see if they'd repair your harp, and they were like, uh, that's the one instrument we don't do. Honestly, fair, because harps are really finicky. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's give this a try. So, let me just take a look at the melody for a second. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to do this without writing the pedals in. <laughs> part of the piece I'm like yeah we got that sounds a little green sleeves yeah it's kind of like a similar mode so that makes sense very catchy 100 nobles were impressed great <laughs> love to hear it MJ with another five thank you very much really appreciate that Thank you very much. Uh, you know, I love streaming. It's so fun. I love these Friday streams. Okay, so um, that's gonna be our last request for the day. I know it's very sad, um, but I've got to I've got to get my cat some food, or he's gonna combust. I think. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we will end as we always do with Lon Lon Ranch. But before we do. Our housekeeping. So first of all, I want to say thank you very much for being here. I always have so much fun, and I really appreciate you spending your Friday with me. Um, thank you very much to all the supporters of the channel. Um, you know, not only everybody who watches and comments and shares, but also an extra big thank you for all the super chats, all the members, all the patrons. Um, that support really does go a long way. Um, so thank you very much. 
Um, trying to think if there's anything new going on. Um, we had a new video from Ballad of the Windfish. Or Ballad of the Windfish is the name of the song. It's from Link's Awakening. That went up last week. Uh, so you can check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, if you live in the Winnipeg area, I'm doing a concert on April the 25th. So that's happening. And, um... I don't know. If you enjoyed hanging out with us today, you can always join our Discord. There's a link for that in the in the description of the stream. So, without further ado, we'll wrap up and we'll do uh, we'll do Lawn Lawn Ranch to finish up. being here I hope you have a great weekend this has totally made my day so thanks again thanks again for being here make sure you drink some water and uh, we'll see you again next Friday bye <laughs>